Hi water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And to those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is it that will happen if you decide to cut this individual off. So I guess these messages here will be more so tailored to those of you that are in a romantic connection with someone or you're romantically involved with someone whom you, you probably should know, you probably know that you have to leave. But yet it makes it so hard for you just to walk away and to pull away here. So you probably should leave, but yet, you know, here you are, you're still staying. So what will happen if you end up pulling away and cutting ties? In saying that, it is still going to be a general reading. So guys, just please be mindful of that. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So... Let's give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. So here you are guys, it's a decision that you've been thinking about for quite some time, okay? So I guess this thought, this isn't the first time this thought has crossed your mind here. You've been given this some, quite some thought, but obviously with the Four of Swords, the presence of the Four of Swords, this is, it's very, it's a very pained energy and you're coming up as a bit of a wounded soldier, the one that, you know, is laying at rest here, he's recuperating, he's withdrawing to nurse to nurture his wounds here so this is a connection in which by the looks of things leaving here walking away from this person is going to be a very difficult decision i'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's going to be easy and um it may even all it may be for the better what i do see is that staying here will be far more difficult okay and staying in a connection that is ultimately exhausting you, staying in a connection that feels a little toxic or it feels like this person is constantly hurting you with their words, their actions, their intentions, in a connection where it is veiled with a lot of secrecy, perhaps even deceptions and illusions. And it's in a connection uh, where with the, the presence of the high priestess, based on your energies and this person's energies, the outcome of this situation is really unpredictable. It, it is not yet determined because there is a lot of confusion around this, um, uncert around this connection, a lot of uncertainty. It's like maybe you yourself don't even know whether or not you truly have feelings for them that are as strong as you want them to be or these feelings are as strong as they should be you know given uh, where you're at uh, with regards to this connection here so yes walking away is going to be difficult with this person but let me tell you that staying in a connection where you feel like you always have to second guess yourself you always have to question their loyalty their commitment to you or whether they're not or whether or not you know they're as involved and invested in this connection as you are that's going to be much more difficult that and that's going to be much more painful than you staying walking away will be hard but for you staying in this connection which is threatening your peace of mind and it's actually taking more away from your happiness than it's contributing to it is going to be far more difficult for you in fact with the presence of the six of wands this is a card of movement and you know this card is all about forward momentum it's success it's progression here it's recognizing your achievements um, you know it, it's moving towards that goal here and it feels like if you do move forward it'll be like, it'll be a step and more importantly a step in the right direction so 
sometimes people come into our lives and they stay okay they end up staying on whether as romantic interests as lovers as husbands or wives sometimes as friends um, as soulmates twin flames they stay but others come into our life and they set up a little home but it's only temporarily okay and that's because this person comes into our lives and they have a mission, okay? There's there's a sole purpose why you've attracted this person and they've attracted you. There's a lesson behind it. There are a blessing in some way. They're there to teach you. Um, and even if they do hurt you in the process, there is still something to come out of that pain or that misfortune, whether it's a lesson, whether it's you being pushed outside of your comfort zone, whether it's the university trying to show you, um, you know, something about a certain individual or about a collective of individuals there's something in it for you and I, it, for me this person and their energy feels like they've your connection with them has used like has the purpose and the destiny of a connection has been realized and it's been manifested and I'm just not sure that there's any more room for you to grow, at least not at this point in time. So it feels like moving forward, especially if it's what you want to do, if you want to move forward here into the next stage of a relationship and your person is not ready, or if you want to elevate yourself and you want to grow and you know you have some goals and aspirations and achievements you want to meet and your person is holding you back, that's how you know your person is not right for you because if this person isn't moving towards that shared goal and shared intention, then it's not your person, okay? As as I was talking about earlier on, as I was just saying that some people come into our lives and they stay briefly and, you know, they do what it is that they have to do. But the expiration date of this connection, it feels like it's drawing or nearing to an end and it feels like this person has nothing left in them to give to you there's nothing left for them to teach you or there's nothing that they could do so ultimately guys if you do decide to stay in such a connection especially if you can relate to something like this it means that instead of you growing and blossoming and evolving and thriving and realizing your potential and talents and you know uh inching to inching closer towards what it is that you want if you stay in such a connection that is holding you back and that is stunted and stalled it doesn't make them a bad person it just means that this isn't the person for you that this person isn't going where you're going and that's why you can't take them with you because they're not going in the direction that you're headed in and why would you stay in a connection where you have to ultimately shrink yourself in like shrink yourself just to fit into someone's idea or someone's view of you. I mean, it's wrong for you to do that here. So, you know, if you cut ties with this individual, it'll be a step in the right direction. It's hard to say whether or not, sometimes when you pull back, okay, and it makes the other person, sometimes your absence makes someone really appreciate your presence. It happens. And it's hard to say whether it might be this, you know, it might be the case in this instance. It may, especially with the high priestess, but it's really, it feels like they may react in, in an unpredictable manner. And it feels like for some of you, if you walk away, this is the end. And there's no turning back. And if you turn back, you're only going back to what you left in the first place. For others of you, walking away somehow will birth a new start with you guys. It will make them realize what they've lost in you and it would make them realize everything that they could have had with you will suddenly just dissipate and evaporate like smoke through their fingers. So it may just give them a bit of an awakening, a bit of a shake up or a wake up call that they may actually need. Okay, but don't do it just because of the reaction that it might generate in them. Do it because ultimately it's what's best for you. It's the move that best aligns with you. Because if you are going through some sort of storm, whether with this person or an inner storm, you're coming up as a ten of cups. And it feels like walking away, not only are you walking away from this individual, especially if it's a toxic relationship or one which is taking away from your happiness and one where you just feel like it's the growth of it is stunted. Walking away means that you would be walking towards something that is more vibrationally aligned with you, whether it's a relationship, a situation, a romantic energy, a set of circumstances. It means that you're, in, you're leaving behind something that was not meant for you, at least not meant for you in the, um, in the sense, in the forever sense. And you're walking toward, towards something that is vibrationally aligned for you, that is destined for you, and that will 
you know, create that rainbow here for you. You're also coming up as a little bit of indecisive energy, right? Um, and this isn't good. You, if you're going to walk away, you need to commit to your decision. You can't walk away and then regret your decision or then try and think about, okay, but what could have been, okay? Because a lot of the time, this is what makes it really difficult to cut ties with someone because you start leaning in towards the fantasy of what could have been. And look, it could have been great, okay? Maybe, maybe it could have been great and so much more than you <clears throat> imagine. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. But what if it's just a fantasy in your head that would have never really lived out and you'd spend the rest of your life or however long trying to chase this illusion, this fantasy that is only really in your imagination. What if? Okay? So at the end of the day with the Seven of Cups, when you make a decision, if you're not ready to make that decision, then don't do it just yet. Okay? So it's important that you understand when I say you need to own that decision. So if you're not ready to walk away, then you're not ready. And don't let anyone else tell you that you are. You know, you'll know when you're ready. Okay? But when you're ready, you need to commit to that decision. All right, guys, and these are your messages. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, um, liking, sharing, or commenting. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Otherwise, bye for now.